Hey Dragonfly Swarm, so I've done a few analysis videos individually discussing the two stars of Genshin Impact's very first double rerun banner in 2.3, Eula and Albedo, but today I wanted to discuss the details and compare these two against each other, asking the increasingly difficult question, who should you pull for? Obviously at the end of the day, you can pull for whoever you want to, and this video is in no way meant to force you to pull for a certain character for any reason whatsoever. Instead, I'll be taking an objective look at both of these characters and comparing their value and impact against each other so that you can decide which of them will give more impact impact and value to your account. It's a great time to pull for both characters as they're both strong and unique characters, so with that, let's start with Albedo. Albedo is a pretty unique character because of his ability to fit on virtually any team in the game, and his off-field DPS potential is second to none. Even further than that though, with passive talents and some constellations, he can actually provide quite a bit of utility to your team as well, taking him a step even further as a powerful character. Up until recently though, Albedo's viability and synergy with other characters was never impressive because although he can fit on any team, he doesn't have have any must-use synergies with characters or teams, or even builds to some extent. But with the introduction of Ito and Goro to the game very soon, Geo as an element is likely to become much stronger and gain more attention, especially given Goro's kit seems to be a huge buffer for Geo damage. Beyond this, however, the brand new and upcoming Husk of Opulent Dreams artifact set will allow Albedo a means of massively increasing his defense bonuses as well as a hefty 24% Geo damage bonus with artifact passives alone, meaning there's a lot of value to be had with building him if you plan on running him with other Geo characters that can use this set. And with Goro coming to the game as a 4-star, geocentric teams will not only become much easier to build, but also much, much stronger as well. Say for example you want to run a triple geo comp to trigger Goro's team buffs for having three geo characters on one team together. Run Ningguang, Ito, or Noel as a main DPS, obviously run Goro, and then run Albedo as a sub DPS, then pair the team with a shielder, and that'll be geo resonance on top of multiple geo damage buffs from Goro. Meaning geocentric teams, especially from 2.3 and onwards, will likely have some of the highest damage outputs in the entire game. Just keep in mind, if you do happen to run across a Geo Slime or a Geo Spectre, you're screwed. But that team build is just one of many examples of Albedo's upcoming synergies. Plus, as I said earlier, you can fit Albedo on just about any team if you really wanted to. Just keep in mind that his power will be significantly more noticeable in Geo-centric teams, especially from 2.3 onwards. So then, all in all, who's going to get the most value out of pulling for Albedo? Well, if you want a fresh and unique type of team comp in which you invest heavily into Geo characters, maybe Albedo is for you, because Ningguang and Noel are both very capable and strong 4-star Geo DPS units that can create a very nice team with Albedo and, as I said, Goro. Plus, it's highly unlikely Albedo will ever be power crept, not just because of his flexibility into virtually any team comp, but also because of the unique role he fills as a Geo off-field DPS, and a really strong one at that. Also, I kinda wanna make a weird point. If you compare him objectively with Yula given that she's a main DPS, Albedo actually provides a bit of utility with his kit alongside his damage, while Yula has virtually no team utility because she's a main DPS. If you think about it this way, Albedo is far more likely to maintain value and relevance in the game than Eula is, given that she could be power crept simply by the addition of a new physical DPS unit that does a little more damage than her. And to be fair, this is how it is with all main DPS units. Given that their only defining factor as a character is how high their damage output is, they are far more likely to be power crept and made irrelevant than sub DPS and utility characters are. Keep in mind as well that the game is adding many new items for Geo characters that are making Albedo stronger, such as the Husk of Opulent Dreams set, a four star character whose entire purpose is to massively buff geo damage, and a super sick looking half oni that will likely pair criminally well with Albedo. So all in all with Albedo, he's got time and value on his side given he's unlikely to ever be power crept, he's a super flexible character with top tier damage output and nice team utility in certain situations, and he's surrounded by upcoming geo strength but with new characters and items in 2.3. So with that, let's move on to the queen of physical damage, Eula. Eula is one of the most unique DPS characters in the game for many reasons, and on the subject of uniqueness, I want to quickly discuss her unique improbability of ever being power crept. I know I just talked about the fact that main DPS characters are always at risk of being power crept, but in Eula's case, given how unique she is as a cryophysical DPS user who actually boasts some of the highest nuke potential in the game, in my opinion, she's less likely than other units to be power crept. She has a very niche, albeit exciting and fresh playstyle in which her main goal is to build up a massive combo using normal attacks and elemental skill hits, which will massively increase how much damage her burst ends up dealing once it explodes. It's a fun and unique way of approaching the DPS trope, and she also has some of the strongest synergies in the entire game, despite being so niche. Firstly and most prominently, if you have Raiden Shogun, Eula is, in my opinion, almost a must-have. Their synergy together is second to none, and they both allow each other to output insane damage pretty much constantly. I talked more in depth about it in my Eula analysis video, but the general idea is that they are absolutely devastating together. And even if you don't have Raiden, Eula pairs amazing with Beto, Fischl, or Lisa as well, for generally the same reasons. Eula also kinda needs a crack 
cryo battery to effectively manage her high 80 energy cost, and it just so happens that two of the best cryo batteries in the game, Diona and Rosaria, pair amazing with her, albeit for different reasons. If you want a more safe and defensive playstyle, I'd pair Eula with Diona for the shields and extra heals. If you'd rather a very aggressive and high damage output team, I'd pair her with Rosaria for the crit rate boost and physical resistance shred. All of this to say is that Eula has a suspiciously large amount of powerful synergies that propel her to the top of a lot of people's tier lists in terms of strong DPS units. So then with that, who amongst the Genshin community should pull for Eula rather than Albedo? Well, Eula pairs well with a lot of characters that most Genshin players already have, and she also has a very unique and refreshing playstyle as opposed to typical DPS units, though it's a little confusing to get the hang of at first. She's a physical damage dealer with a lot of easily accessible weapons and artifacts who will likely not be power crept or made irrelevant for a very long time if ever, given her flexibility with team comps and ability to pretty much completely ignore physical resistance on enemies. So that's all to say that no matter what the quote unquote meta is in the current Genshin Impact environment, Eula pretty much always has her own spot inside of it given that the only thing that really stops her in her tracks is shielded mobs such as Abyss Mages and Heralds, and even that doesn't hold too much merit given that she can still use Cryo as well as whatever elements you pair on her team. Overall, in terms of the debate between Albedo and Eula, the biggest deciding factor is just which character will fit best with what your account is strongest with right now. If you have a lot of preparation on Geo characters already or the idea of the upcoming Geo meta interests you, Albedo is definitely the safer pick here, as he is at the end of the day one of the most flexible units in the game. But if you're currently unsatisfied with your DPS units or you want to try a new type of DPS playstyle and slash or you have units like Raiden, Diona, Rosaria, etc, Eula is a very safe pick as well, and you'll be able to live peacefully knowing that there's not much that can halt her relevance as a powerful physical damage dealer. Or what if for the memes, you disregarded this whole video and pulled for Ito instead? I'm kidding on that. But, 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 the good thing about this decision right now is that with the new dual rerun banner system, these characters will come back much faster in the future, so whoever you decide not to pull for now, you'll see them again soon, and that's kind of the cool part about the new system. But anyways, if you like this video or it helped you in any way, please subscribe as it helps the channel, or you can join my Discord server or follow me on Twitch because I like to stream and hang out with people. All those links are down below, and I'm now going to go finish preparing for Albedo to come home. Chuck me, yeah.